Hello everybody and welcome to another Tech It tutorial. So, uh, for today's um, tutorial I thought I'd be covering some um, some basic uh, machines and a basic way of running them. Um, and that includes a generator, electric furnace, iron furnace, extractor and macerator. So, um, also I've just thrown in another thing, is a project table, which is a very handy little tool, and I'll go into a little bit more detail on that in just a bit. So, um, I think we'll start off with, um, with this here, the generator. Now, the generator allows you to um, fuel it up, so if I just get myself some, um, some coal quickly, I'll show you exactly what I mean see the coal slowly starts to fill it up gives it power and you can power it with anything you can power it with um, lava buckets saplings sticks wood anything you want really um, except coal is the most I, or is it it might be lava that's the most sufficient but coal is most readily available I guess so um, with that, it's now full, and it's not going to go down until a machine is turned on. And at the moment, they do not have any power. That's because I need to make myself some cable. And I'm going to make the basic cable first, and that's going to be copper cable. I have all the supplies in here that I need for it, um, except now to get the most out of your uh, sticky resin, let me actually show you how to get sticky resin first. You need to make a tree tap. This is the most basic tree tap. You, in later tutorials, I'll show you how to make an electric tree tap. So just a, a basic tree tap, and these are rubber trees. And the way you can tell is they've got funny little things that stick up off the top of it, usually two blocks high, and they're found in um, in swamps mostly. Um, and if you just right click on it, it's going to drop some sticky resin, and that's that's great. So I mean. You could just set up a whole tree farm to get yourself some sticky resin. Um, there are other ways of getting um, sticky resin, and I'll show you. Um, but this is just the most obvious way. Okay, so once we have ourselves some sticky resin, we're going to cook it in a furnace. Um, now, a furnace is very slow, and it's you know it's not going to give us. It's not going to give us a, a lot of sticky resin. It's only going to it's rubber. It's only going to give us one. And what we need is, well, what the um, extractor does over here is if you put a sticky resin in there, you're going to get three rubber out of it. So the furnace is not really efficient in that way. Um, so when this is done, I'm actually just going to uh, go ahead and give myself some rubber because it's taking quite a while. When you have rubber, you're going to stick rubber down on the outside, just like that, and then you're going to put your cable in the mid uh, your copper in the middle, and that's going to give you six copper cable. There are other ways of doing it. If you just put your um, copper in there, you take out your uninsulated copper cable, put that in, and you put some. Oh, I think that's wrong. And you'll get some copper cable out of that. It'll still only give you six, but there are two different ways of making it. Now that we have copper cable, we can start to power other things, such as the electric furnace. So if I just go ahead and you'll see that that's turned itself back on, it's using power to power this. And the electric furnace, uh, very simple to make, um, is just in the it's pretty much like a furnace, except it's electric. Um, and I think it's 25% faster on um, on cooking stuff. So, um, oh, so I'll show you how to make one of those now. And that requires some refined iron and copper cable and some redstone. So, we take a refined iron and we put it in the middle. Let's actually make make a few of these guys. No, actually, I've got a better idea. Okay, so, um, I think it's going to be refined. Right, there we go. Let's go into our second project table. 
Let's just put some supplies down here. So now we are making a, making an electronic circuit, and this is how you make it. Okay, simple, simple. And then I'm going to give myself some redstone quickly, some more redstone. Right. So there we go, we have an electronic circuit. I'm going to get a few of these bad boys. Okay, so there we go, I've got myself 12. So you know, um, electronic circuits, they're quite a pain to make. So um, I usually always put them into a, cr a crafting a project table. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you is how to make an iron furnace. So um, let's get some iron quickly. And all you need to do is exactly like another other furnace, you just put them in, the, in filling up the eight slots here. Um, there are other ways of making it. If you have a normal furnace, just a, a cobblestone one, you put it, you put the cobblestone one here, and you remove these two pieces here, and that will make a um, an iron furnace for you. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have an iron furnace, and this here is 25% faster. It doesn't need power, so, but it is 25% faster. As you can see, it does move along quite quickly. There we go. And so only makes one. But that's alright. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the electric furnace. So we're going to need an iron furnace now um, to make an electric furnace. So um, I, had, I had my refined iron. I don't know where it's gone. Just get a hold back of that. Okay, so in the crafting bench, open up your crafting bench and make an iron furnace, just as before. Okay, and then we need to make. Uh, okay, then we need to take the electronic circuits that we just made, and we're going to put them up at the top. We're going to have some redstone. Sorry, redstone on either side. I'm going to take our iron furnace and stick it in the middle. And that will give you an electric furnace. Right, so generator and that's our electric furnace over here. Which is just powered by our generator. Okay, so um, once we have that, then we can move on to... I've shown you the iron furnace already. We're going to move on to the extractor. Now the extractor, you're going to need your tree for unused tree taps. Okay, so um, we're going to need a machine block. And a machine block is made with refined iron. Just take, just like that, and that will give you a machine block. Okay, so to make an extractor, we're going to use our tr four tree taps, and we're going to stick them up in the uh, sides, top, top two, left and right. And we're going to take our newly made machine block, stick it up top, and then we're going to take our um, electronic circuit and stick it in the middle. And you get your extractor. So I want to uh, power all of that on quickly. I'm going to need more cable actually. Uh, cop copper cable, you can actually never have too much copper cable. It's, it, you'll be so surprised at how fast it goes throughout this game. So, our extractor is finally going, you can see it's powering up, and there it is fully powered. Now, this slot, let me explain this first. These slots on the right are for overclocking upgrades, and, um, I mean, an overclocker upgrade is a fantastic piece of kit. You know, if you stick 10 of them in here, this is just going to whiz by very fast. That's more of an advanced... Um, tutorial so I'll be covering that later on. Um, so we're going to take our rubber, we're going to stick it in there, <coughs> excuse me, oh, no, no no wrong one, we're going to take our sticky resin and put it up top. But if I just remove that and I'll show you exactly how it works. Okay so when that's going like that you'll see this is being eating up corn. It, it eats it up 
really fast when you have all your machines running. That's why you want to move on to other means of power as soon as possible. I will be showing you that soon though. And you can see it's made three, as well as in this furnace here, it only made one per sticky resin. This is much more efficient. Um, it uses more coal, but it's a, a little bit more worth because cables are so expensive and so widely used in this mod. Okay, so there we go. Very simple. Um, another thing you can use is um, is rubber wood. If we just take some, uh, where's the rubber wood? Plain rubber wood. There we go. If we take some rubber wood and stick it at the top, that's also going to give you rubber. So you don't only need sticky resin; you can just use plain rubber. And I'll show you that. Okay, and afterwards we're going to go on to the macerator. Okay, but that will only give you one, but these are more widely available for you. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off as it's very noisy. Okay. Now, the uh, last one is the macerator. How you make a macerator is, you're going to need some flint, you're going to need some cobblestone, you're going to need a machine block. Um, which I showed you how to make um, before, so it's just like that. Take our machine block. We are going to need a electronic circuit. Okay, a machine block. Uh, I think I've done that wrong, anyways. Um, and we're going to need three flint. Three flint will go along the top. There we go, and we've got a macerator. We'll stick him down over there, just to show you that I have actually made it. Oh, and I've got him as well. Oh, and that. <laughs> okay, so a macerator. What a macerator is used for is um, is to make a a nano suit. Um, so nano suits are um, one of the um, the terrible items that are used to make a quantum suit. Um, and the quantum suit quantum suit is the ultimate in tech. It is just if you have one of those, it shows how pro you really are because they are really hard to make and they use a lot of material and it takes a lot of time and you have to have a nuclear reactor in order to make one. Uh, you don't actually need it, but if you don't have a nuclear reactor, you're going to be spending the rest of your life trying to make one. So, um, first things first, um, in a macerator, you you can macerate coal to make some um, to make some coal dust. So let's actually go ahead and get some coal. Da, 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 da. Make quite a bit. Same here. This is what you can put. Uh, you can put some overclockers in here. Okay. So I think I don't actually think I've showed you how to make a generator. Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. So generator. We're going to need an RE battery. <clears throat> so, how do we make an RE battery? I'm actually going to go ahead and delete some unwanted stuff. And some that. Okay. So, RE battery, we're going to take. Oh, we're in the wrong crafting bench. There we go. We're going to take some uh, redstone and we're going to stick that down the sides. Just like that. Tin on the side, redstone in the middle, and copper up top. And we get an RE battery. Then we're going to make want to make an uh, iron furnace. So we take an iron furnace, just like that. Okay. So with an iron furnace, we take some refined iron, and we put it down in the middle like that. We take our RE battery, we stick it in the top, and then we take our iron furnace and put it at the bottom. There's a different way of making this actually, um, so if you want to get rid of that, just make a normal, um, just make a normal furnace, make a machine block, stick the machine block in the middle, furnace at the bottom, and RE battery up top. And that will give you a generator. Um, 
I think they both use the same amount of materials regardless, so it, yeah, it doesn't really matter. So bottom line is, generator, you want to move away from it as soon as possible, but while you're busy making um, cables and all of that stuff, go ahead and use it. Um, very handy. How you make a project table is quite simple. Um, there's, there's one major reason why I use um, project tables, and that's because you can the most popular um, sort of items you need to make in the game that are quite um, finicky to make, you know, it like takes a while to get all the stuff in the right order. Uh, you can stick it all in there and it will automatically, you just need to click on the item you want and it will allow you to create them. So, chest at the bottom, crafting table on top, wood on the sides and stone along the top. It will give you a project table. So, project table. As you can see here, you have um, two different sort of inventories. This top one here is your crafting table, and the bottom one here is where you store all the items to make a crafting table. So say for example, I want to make a tree tap. There we go, we have it there. And I'm going to get some more wood actually. And now you'll see that I can make as many of these as I like as long as I have the right materials in here, the right amount. So you just left click and you drag them down and you'll see the wood at the bottom left is going down. And this wood stays exactly where it is and if you close out of that, go back in, it's still going to be there. Um, so I think that covers um, some of the basic machines for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys have learned something. Leave a comment. Um, a like, um, let me know what you think of it, um, sub if you want. Um, and I think I'll mention now that um, this is, I've turned on my, um, I've turned on the Technic Launcher today and it's updated and it looks like forestry mod has been taken out. Um, so there is no more forestry anymore. So there are three engines here. I could show you the biogas, peat fired engine and electric engine. They disappeared. Um, when I turned on my game, so, and all the tree farms and stuff I had made. So that is no longer in the game. Um, I don't know yet. I might know sometime in the next tutorial. But um, the next tutorial, will be, we will be covering blue, electric, blue electricity, um, such as blue electric solar panels and um, all that sort of stuff. Burning zombie. Um, so, yeah, and that's about it, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.